Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, well, welcome, and if you're back, welcome back. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe by clicking on that bell icon below so you can get notified each time I have a new video out. So today we're gonna do another drawing tutorial and now we're doing Jean Dubuffet. Jean Dubuffet, I've known about him since I was in art school, but I've never really been too, too drawn to his work. At first glance, you kind of get the vibe of, oh, I can do that, because it does appear to be very you know, simplistic in nature. I was on the, the MoMA website just looking at different artists and the collections that they have there and I came across Jean Dubuffet and I'm like, ah. So I started scrolling through the images and things that the museum has in their collection and I came across this image right here and I was very attracted by it. I don't know if it was because of the unibrow and I obsessed with unibrow as I kind of want one of my own things to Frida Kahlo and then I thought this is very whimsical. I like it. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to do it and put it on my wall because I have a wall where I'm trying to cover with some little paintings. And I said, I want to do that for my wall. Also reminded me of Roy Lichtenstein's cheese head that he did in 1978. And it also reminded me of Rene Magritte, Son of Man. This one was painted in 1964. Done drawing tutorials on those two that are on my channel if you want to check those out. He did portraits of people he knew and, and this was one of them. This one was made on, this is right here is gouge on, gouge on colored paper. So I did my own version for my wall of, but I told you where I have all these mini paintings. And this is what mine looks like. I feel like he kind of reminds me of Pee Wee Herman. Fun fact, Pee Wee Herman and I share the same birthday. Not a year because he's a whole lot older. But I like it. There's a whimsical quality about it. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's very easy to draw. So a little bit of history about Jean Dubuffet. Jean Dubuffet was born on July 31st, 1901. And he died on May 12th, 1985. He was a painter and a sculptor. He was born in France and he actually began, began making art at the age of 41. So it's never too late to get started. And we actually have several things in common. And by several, I mean three. Well, he was into art. He was in the army. I was in the army. He was a wine merchant. I love to drink wine. So I think we probably could have been really good friends. So when you look at Dubuffet's work, it looks very simple at first glance, but what's very cool about his work is that the materials he used are very non-traditional. He used to mix like sand, gravel, and it's just layered and layered. He even used orange peels, tin foil, petals. Even though the image is very simplistic in nature, the way it's executed is very thought out and very meticulously built. So he coined the term brute art or art brute which is basically raw art. And he decided that this movement, that the images in this artistic style, and these aren't his words, very childlike, uh, resembling folk art or someone with a mental illness. When you look at it, you can say, hey, this looks like something I can do because there is, there is a childlike execution to it, you know? It looks like a kid drew it. But not all of his work. Some of his work is very intricate. He did a lot of cityscapes and things like that and those were a little bit more complex. Even his maquettes for sculptures were very intricate but we're focusing today on what he called childlike. Let's get started. Let's see how childlike and easy this is to do. It is very actually easy so grab your pencil. You can even grab a chart because you probably won't mess up with this one. I'm gonna start with the eyes so you just make two circles. One and two. Oopsie. And they don't have to be the same size because like he described his work, it's childlike. And then the pupil. Favorite part is unibrow in the middle. I kinda wish I had a unibrow. I think I think they're so cool. And you can make it as full or as thin as you like. For his nose, you're just going to bring a line from the eye down and the same on the other. And then the bottom of his nose is the letter V. 
He has three little wrinkles underneath his eye. And right below his nose, we're gonna do his mouth. So I guess his mouth is open, so there's like a little circle. And then around the circle, we'll draw his lips. So it's like a U or a smiley face, and then a sad face on top of it. And then you're gonna connect them on, you're gonna extend and connect. Extend and then connect. Extend and connect. So below here is his chin and his chin, a dot. And then there's like a circular organic shape around it. And then from here, it attaches to the mouth. And there's a line here as well, but it doesn't attach the mouth. It goes to the side. Now, this is the bottom. Well, this is actually the bottom of the chin. This is the indentation that you have right here. I don't know what that's called. We're going to go up to about where the lip begins here. You're going to go out a little bit. And it's the same thing on the other side. You go up right about the mouth, and then you extend out. So right, like where the first wrinkle mark is, is where his ears are going to be. So you just go out and in. Out and in. And there's two circles inside the ear. Now back to his chin over here. To do the neck, two parallel lines. There's actually like a line here. Oh. And from the bottom of the chain, bring up a line that goes all the way to where about this one is. Oopsie. And then there's another line right there. And then this line comes down to the bottom of, no, not to the bottom, to over the bottom of the chin. All right, so here, we gotta make his head. So it's easy, just make like a bracket, an upside down bracket. And then his hair, he has a widow's peak. And then... That's it. So I'm gonna make this wider. I'm gonna color that black. So if you mess up, you can just change your composition. You know, like here, I messed up, so I just extended it. And then he has suit. So below his neck, a pair, a horizontal line, and you're going to make the collar of his shirt by making two triangles. And then you bring the line out for his suit, his shoulders, and then the tie. Oh, and then here you bring this down because this is a coat shirt shirt down and coat and that's literally it that was super easy super fast so now I'm gonna add some color to make this a little bit more exciting because it's kind of boring I think I'm gonna do some blue like I did this one for the background and I'll be back once I've colored it all right so I am done I used acrylic for this and I went a little bit different than the smaller one I did I went with the brunette hair yellow tie so yeah that was super super easy i hope you enjoyed the tutorial and a little bit about the artist jean du buffet i'm starting to like his work and get into it so it's always cool for me to learn about new artists i hope you enjoyed that as well and that is it for today's tutorial make sure to subscribe and activate those notifications and that's it until next time adios y bye oh and also check out all the other content in my channel